Welcome to the channel, human. You have reached T-Virus Terrence. Be sure to click that subscribe button to join the T-Virus community. Click that subscribe button now. The Sandman Season 1 was amazing. It surprised me with how good it was. And it is based on the Sandman in connection to DC Comics. I believe that particular arc came out in 1989 or so. That's what the show was pulling from. And I've only read a couple of issues of that, so I need to jump back on that. But based upon the information that I have in relation to the characters presented in the context of the Sandman Season 1, they're very accurate and on point. Despite some disgusting race swaps and some disgusting gender swaps, overall, they did an amazing job. Now, you might be wondering, what, what do you mean by uh, disgusting race swaps and disgusting gender swaps? I don't like when they race swap a character or gender swap a character. It's just very stupid and lazy, and it's always unnecessary. But in the event that they ever do anything that silly, I just ask that you make the material good. And you'll find that 99.9% .9 of the time that when you change these characters' genders and... and and um, races and things like that, that it doesn't do anything to uplift the material. It just stays either as bad as it was or as good as it was. It doesn't change anything. And that's why I say that it's silly to do that. If the material is good, it's going to be good. Changing a gender or race is not going to make the material any better or worse. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. That's why I think it's silly. But we know why they do it in Hollywood. But my thing is, the show is very good because of the writing, because of the acting, not because they decided to put a certain gender or a certain race in there that has nothing to do with its quality. You could have very easily have found individuals that actually look like the characters that are the right genders, that are the right ethnicities, and the quality would have still been the same. It just, it makes no difference. But I'm excited about the Sandman Season 2, as it will come at us sometime in 2025, based upon what these humans are saying. And I can't wait to see it. I hope that the quality of the show continues with the second season. Because I think that the Sandman is very underrated in terms of when you hear humans talk about these different shows. Most of the time, I don't hear humans talking about the Sandman, even when it was out. A lot of humans didn't even give it a chance. When it comes to entertainment, there's a lot of bullshit that's out there. A lot of stuff that's... Piss mixed with shit. Like, they don't even care anymore. They just put some stuff out there. All they care about is checking off boxes. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about nobody. They just want to get recognition. They want to, you know, have money. That's all they care about nowadays. For the most part. There's, there's always exceptions. But we're talking about overall. There's a lot of clowns in Hollywood. So, to trust them with anything, you would have to be quite foolish. Until individuals prove themselves. But they have proven themselves with the Sandman Season 1. So now it's just a matter of continuing with that same energy and momentum in relation to the second season. So unless they do a bunch of stupid left-field ass shit, Season 2 will be on the level of Season 1 in terms of its quality, in terms of everything you can expect, and more, because there are still more characters to introduce from the Endless. So we'll see how they tackle it. Terrence out.